Hello and welcome to Show Me Tech Tips. And in this video, I'm going to talk about worksheets. I'm going to show you how to add, delete, move, rename, change their color, hide and unhide. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to know about what a worksheet is. And most people that's obvious, but just let's clarify so we're all on the same page, no pun intended. So a workbook is the whole file. So it's a bit like a notebook. And a worksheet, you can think of as a page. And when you start a new um, workbook, Excel sometimes puts one sheet in and on older versions of Excel, it might say sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. So each of those sheets is a worksheet and that's the phrase that we're using. And it's useful to be able to reorganize those and not just use the defaults. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to add and delete sheets. So you do that by clicking the plus would be a good way of doing that. Click this little plus here, you can see you get sheet two, sheet three, sheet four, and so forth. Um, you can also do it by right clicking and insert, and then just picking the first option. So both of those will allow you to put sheets in. Now if I want to delete a sheet, let's say I want to get rid of sheet two, the quickest way of doing that is to right click and then of course click delete. Now let's talk about moving them because you can see I've got sheet one, sheet three, sheet five, sheet four, which is not a very sensible order. So the best way of moving them is actually simply to drag and drop. So you can click on the name, hold it down, and then you can see the cursor's changed and I can reorder it. So I could put this sheet here, move sheet five to the end. You can see the little icon has changed. So now we've got them in a more sensible order. So drag and drop is perfectly possible with the sheets. Now also with the sheets, what I can do is I can rename them. So if I wanted to rename them, I can right click and click rename. And then I just simply type in the name I want. So if I was doing something to do with calendars, I might start with January and then I just press enter and that's now the correct name I can rename this one Feb and then I could rename March and the last one I might rename April now it might be that when I get to um, May that is very similar to one that I've already got set up on April or sometimes in Excel it's useful to have a template like a master sheet that's got everything on filled in blank and you just want to create new versions of that but you don't want to destroy the original template so let's say I've got just some random things in April and I want to make a copy of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on April and I'm going to do move or copy now when I do that, it comes up with a strange list. You can just totally ignore this list and just put create copy. So you can see now I've got an April with two in brackets. And if I wanted to use that, I can move it across to the end by drag and drop and then I could rename it as May. Okay, the next thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at changing the color of the tabs. So sometimes it's useful to color coordinate your tabs. So one way you can do that is to right click and go to tab color. And you can see there's a large selection of colors and there's even more if you click on more colors. So you could color coordinate them. So if I was doing a calendar, I might say, right, I'm gonna do um, this blue for the first quarter. So I'm just changing the colors by using the selector. And then April, I might decide to do orange okay and then you can see now you can see when it highlights it just changed the color so you can see which ones you've highlighted but in that the colors are now um, as you've chosen now sometimes people want to hide worksheets so if you had a long set of worksheets there might be some that you don't need or maybe you just had some that you want to keep but you just don't want to be public viewed so if I wanted to get rid of May and I wanted to hide it, I can right click and you can see I've got a hide option here. If I click hide, you can see now it's no longer in the list. 
if I want to get it back, I can right click on any sheet and just click unhide and then it says which one would I like to unhide. So when it's hidden, it's not well hidden in terms of it's quite easy for someone to find. Now as a more advanced tip, there is a way of getting it so that no one can see it unless they know what they're doing and that's called very hidden. But the only way of accessing that and turning a sheet to be very hidden is to use VBA. In other words, to write some code to do that. But it is possible for um, sheets to be hidden totally out of view, but it's beyond the scope of this kind of starter tutorial to um, go into how to do that. The last tip is how to navigate quickly. So let's imagine I've got this worksheet with lots of tabs. So on this worksheet I've just created, I've created a workbook with 30 sheets. You can see them all listed along the bottom, but I can't see all of them. So I can use this scroll to scroll between them. So this allows to go back and forth. Okay, um, which is okay, but a more useful thing um, is to be able to right click on the arrows. If you right click on the arrows you can select any sheet. Hopefully those top tips have been helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon next time with Show Me Tech Tips.